So the final part of the installation is we're going to take this line right here and we're going to start at the furthest brush away and we're going to route the lines back to the check valves on the uh, pump. And this is something that we're going to try to use as many routing uh, lines, um, try to route it with his existing hydraulic hoses uh, to follow that back to this side of the machine. So that'll probably take uh, the most time of this all is just routing these lines. So what we're doing is we're starting with this top line on the furthest point on this particular machine. And we need to route the lines to the other side of the machine, preferably without snagging or catching on anything. So I'm just trying to get kind of a kind of an idea on how I can run this line up here. We can use some wire ties, cable ties to uh, to secure it to existing lines. So if I come up here. So for this top brush up here, being that that's exposed, uh, what we're doing is we took in the kit, there's some quarter inch black nylon tubing, and I cut about a foot of that, and all we're doing is we're sliding that over the 5 30 seconds nylon. So we're going to connect this up to the brush. It's just a push in assembly, so this tube just pushes down into the brush. We'll slide this tube up snug, and I drilled a hole for this little P clamp to go up there and secure this to the top of this bracket right here. So we push the uh, pushed it into the brush. Okay, all I'm doing right now is I've routed the 5 30 seconds, the line. So I'm just adding some cable ties to make sure that that line doesn't get entangled in everything or anything when the uh, machine is underway. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one more right here when I get down off the ladder here. This is the extension of that line on that high brush. What I'm using is I'm trying to use existing lines as much as possible. And I'm just trying to uh, snake this 5 30 seconds line back over to the pump. And as I mentioned, I always start off with the, uh, the furthest line, the longest line away, because depending on where you end up and you need to cut things, you can use a lot of the drop for the shorter lines. So we're gonna come through, we're gonna come through here. Can you see that come in that other side there? I'm going to leave maybe an extra foot or so here on this long line and we can adjust it and trim it once, once we install it. So I'm going to go back over to the other side and start with the other lines and route them back as the same, same method we routed this uh, first one.